At the center of almost every massive galaxy that we know of today lies a black hole. How did the universe get these black holes? We are getting hints from our leading observatories, including the James Webb Space Telescope, that these supermassive black holes may have been in place long before the galaxies that we associate them with were ever created. We see today that the most massive black holes are maybe about a tenth of a percent as massive as the stars in their galaxy. But when we look to earlier and earlier times, we find black holes that are maybe 1%, 10%, or even 100% as massive as all the stars in their galaxies combined. We now think these black holes could not have formed from the stars and the corpses of stars that lived and died already, but instead, were formed from a process known as direct collapse, where huge clouds or streams of gas collided and collapsed to make seed black holes that may have been tens of thousands of times as massive as a star like the sun. They then grow initially faster than any of the stellar mass components of a galaxy grow. These overmassive black holes, a new discovery in the era of JWST, are changing what we thought of as the origin stories for the most massive single objects in the universe, supermassive black holes.